What's up, my friends? Um, so I'm going to talk about how you can charge uh, basically as much money as you want. Uh, actually, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm gonna, I talked about it in the last video. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually show the work that I did for uh, for the client that contacted me about the mural that she wanted for her son's parking spot. <laughs> high school in South Lake, Texas. Um, I guess people in South Lake, well, I don't know, but I guess, I guess people in Dallas, um, they like certain schools, like they let the seniors paint their parking spot. And, uh, this woman saw some of the work that I did for the national video game museum, uh, and contacted me and basically commissioned me to paint the spot for her, for her son. Um, and I guess he was like a big gamer. And sorry, I just killed a mosquito. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, this was a fun project, and um, it came it came basically like right at the perfect time. I needed, you know, I I mean, you know, I can always use extra money, and I think every artist out there can use extra money. Um, the whole poor the whole point of this video is to show you that there are clients out there that are willing to pay um a good chunk of change. You know what I mean for for your work, for your talent, for your art. Um, so don't, uh, I, I've just got a huge problem with artists like undercutting themselves and getting underpaid and thinking that's cool. Um, you should live abundantly and you should be able to enjoy your life. Okay. You shouldn't just get paid enough for fucking supplies and, um, and to eat a cheeseburger. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, um, this one job paid my rent for next month. Okay. Uh, so that's just it. You know what I mean? Like four jobs like that. A month that's a six thousand dollar a year job okay or six thousand dollar a month job and uh, I mean that's that's basically seventy two thousand dollars a year just doing fun art for about ten hours a week okay um, and they're out there jobs like this are out there all the time this is actually a different version of the video that I did that I put on Facebook that I'm now sharing and promoting and doing all this other stuff with because I'm marketing the shit out of this to get more gigs. Um, but yeah, that's the whole point guys. It's uh, you can do it too. All right. So uh, I put some cool videos in here of me actually painting. Um, it's not all the videos that I've got of me painting just cause there's a lot of them. Um, I, I set up, you know, I, I, I put my iPhone there on the time-lapse video and I got a bunch of GoPro videos that, or a pain in the ass to upload, and um, for some reason, GoPro videos over 10 minutes just don't want to download onto my phone. Um, but you can seriously, uh, you know, don't feel bad about charging people a lot of money. You know what I mean? And honestly, like now that I'm thinking about it, I probably get a charger um, potentially twice what I charge her. But you know, lesson learned for me too. Okay, I used to undercut myself a whole lot, and then. Uh, after a while, I just got tired of not getting paid enough, so I started grabbing my balls and throwing uh, what I thought then were ridiculous prices to people, and they took them, and then um, and the work got better. You know what I mean? That, that's the whole thing with it. It's, it's like the more you charge somebody, like honestly, it's like I think realistically it's like the more you're dedicated to making sure that a piece is great, to making sure that the client's happy, and to make sure that you feel great about the work that you're doing and the final product itself, okay? Um, you'll see, like, basically, I could cut this off on day three, and, because, like, she thought it was fantastic, but the thumbs, like, the, you'll see it in the picture, like, the thumbs that were, like, originally on the controller, um, when I added, like, Donkey Kong and, and Link in there, um, the thumbs just didn't work with the piece, and it was bothering me, so I told her, I was like, listen, I'm not even going to charge you until I finish this, because I don't want, because the, the thumbs are bothering me, and I know you think it looks great, but it's, it's bothering me. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to make sure the thumbs, the thumb section just looks better. So they, they ended up becoming like Donkey Kong Jr. and like Link's sword, which ended up looking super fucking cool because I had like the silver spray paint. Um, but yeah, like that's the whole thing, guys. Um, so watch the video. Enjoy, you know, because some of you guys are like, this is great do art. I, I do. Um, and I like to get paid for it. Okay. And that's kind of like what this channel is for, to inspire, to teach, because I love you. And uh, subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber and share this video. Let's try to get this shit viral. Let's try to get as many artists getting paid as possible. Okay? Enjoy.
So in case you weren't aware of what happened, uh, I got emailed by a lady who saw some of my work at the Video Game Museum. Uh, we went back and forth via email. And for what she wanted, I just threw it out there. I was like, $1,500. And she said, that's awesome. Uh, I got my first deposit paid uh, within basically three hours of sending her that email. Um, and then I got my second payment done um, pretty much as soon as I got done with it, which was today. Um, these are the sketches that I sent her for the idea of what she wanted. Um, she just said she wanted some video game stuff for some like Yo-Kai Watch and Mario Brothers and Nintendo games. And then I got started painting. I was here last somebody decided to drive over like you can see the tire marks it's like what a jerk right It even looks good wet! So I added Link Sword. It's a cool, it's a cool metallic paint. And I added uh, Donkey Kong Jr. over there. Um, but yeah, dude, this looks legit. Super legit. I'd say we're done. That's what's up. That is what's up. Feels good to finish a good piece. So now it's time to get paid and go home. <laughs>